Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Now that some of the hype about Google's newest smartphone, the Nexus 4, has started to wear off a little bit, we want to go back and take a look at, well, one of the only accessories that's available for it. It's the Nexus 4 bumper. It comes in a really big box. We'll unbox it, we'll show you what it looks like. It's all if you want to get it for your Nexus 4 right now. Inside this deceptively lightweight box is our Nexus 4 bumper. Let's go ahead and cut into it. We'll use the Kershaw official unboxing blade. That's a shout out to uh, Michael Fisher and his blade. It's also some filler so that you don't have to uh, sit in silence while I'm unboxing this guy. Go ahead and open the box. Inside we've got packing material, we've got shipping information. And we've got this plastic case. Opening that up is relatively easy. I say as I make it look difficult. Slide that out of the way and now we have just a sheet of paper, really, cardboard, with the bumper on top kind of suspended on this little bump out. That's about it. On the back it says, bumper case. Customize your Nexus 4 with a lightweight bumper case. And it says that in lots of languages. Made in Korea, interestingly enough. So you might be able to uh, rock your phone Gangnam style now. Looking around, up at the top we've got a hole for our headphone jack, we've got a microphone hole. We've got kind of the same look that we had on the, the Nexus 4, which is up on the top we've got kind of a, a black color. We've got a semi-metallic plastic, looks like plastic anyway, around the middle and then black down on the bottom as well. Moving around to the side, we have an actual physical button for your power, and that just passes right through, if you can see that on the inside. Over here, we've got our volume up and down, also as a physical button. So this is going to look like a, uh, an actual part of the phone, not just an accessory going around it. Looking at the bottom now, we've got a nice big opening for the micro USB and another microphone hole down there. And really, that's it. In fact, you can see uh, it kind of comes apart little bit so that's not going to be a problem since we're going to have a phone in there holding it out but just to show you it is actually a couple separate pieces in there feeling it it's a little bit textured a little bit gritty which is a kind of a good thing this is supposed to help you hold on to your phone a little bit better since it's got this lip on the back we're going to put the phone in from the front and i like starting out with the button side it's a little bit pliable and there we go, it, it, it's on, it's, that's it. <laughs> it installs very, very easily. The buttons are quite responsive. Volume up, volume down, they work really well. In fact, uh, you wouldn't know that this was a bumper unless we showed you that it was a bumper. You might just think it's part of the phone. It's that integrated uh, and, and that stylistic, which is nice. So looking at it, the, the bumper does elevate the back of the phone off the surface of whatever you're setting it down on. So that's going to protect it from getting any nicks or scratches down here on the back. That's very nice, especially because scratches eventually lead to cracks and you've got a couple of crack points right down here where there are holes in the glass already for the camera and the speaker. On the front, however, it also does that, which I, I realize you've got to do that so it has something to grip onto, but it's kind of a pain because one of the nice things about this phone is it's, let's see if I can get it back out again, uh, is this nice curved front. I don't want to call it a bevel because it's more rounded. It's rounded on the sides and then just nice and flat on the top, which is really, really nice for when you're swiping because you've got a nice, gentle, graceful approach into the swipe right to left. And I love that about this phone. Putting the bumper on it, however, interrupts that. You lose that entirely and now you're dealing with just like any other phone that has a, a hard edge to it. Uh, now you've got that here as well. Overall, it doesn't look like it adds any noticeable weight to the device. It doesn't look like it adds any noticeable width or height to it. It looks like it's essentially part of the device, like it was designed for it and they just kind of left it off when they shipped it to you. It's a $20 accessory. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but if we're considering it might protect the front or back glass from getting cracked or scratched, that costs a lot more than 20 bucks to fix. So overall, I like it quite a bit. 
Um, we're going to run with this for a few days and uh, I think everything's going to come up peachy. From what everybody's saying, it's a nice device. It's a, uh, it's a nice accessory for your device. We like it. We think it's worth it for you to buy if you've got any kind of concerns about cracking or scratching. If you've already got this device on your Nexus 4, we want to know. Head over to pocketnow.com, leave us some comments down in the comments section on the article. Do that over at Pocket Now rather than here on YouTube, if you're watching it on YouTube, just because we like to keep all the comments together in one place so we can all learn from one another's experiences. Let us know if you like it or if you don't like it and why. That's kind of the big part of that question is, why do you like it? Why do you not like it? For Pocket Now, showing off the Nexus 4 bumper, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.